Hey everybody, this is Alpha Zero After Service in the evening time. I'm going to do a review on a new new chapter of One Piece that just came out today. Now, I'll be honest with you, I knew I should have checked it out this morning because most of the time the One Piece chapters always comes out like um, Wednesday and I thought it might come out tomorrow, but I decided to check like this, lit, this late afternoon and I realized it came out. And I go like, God dang it, it had to be right now, it had to be around, this, around today or something, you know. And I know it's very late for me to do a review and... I know it's, and I know I'm at fault for that. And I knew I should, I should have checked early this morning when I woke up, you know. But things happen, you know. I got school to take care of and so forth and other things. Now, I, if I knew, now that I knew that this review was gonna come late, I decided to make some notes front and back to make sure to know what I'm talking about and so forth. And some, of, and this chapter really surprised me by a really big, big shot. So if anything else, let's just get started. And. <clears throat> I just hope the notes I have will sum up what I'm gonna say. So let's go. Okay, of course, of course, like at the beginning, we have a scene about like um, Koala and Sabo arguing against each other, and then Sabo says, "Hey, I had no other ch choice. My brother's in trouble." And then later on, like um, Sabo and Fujitora did stop fighting, which kind of dis which kind of disappointed me a bit. But Fujitora has its reasons, and he's saying he's making a little gamble, you know, a little gamble about something. And of course, a Koala still gets ticked off and says, You know who's going to get in trouble? Me and Hack because of your damn selfishness. You know that? And, of course, like, um, the people of Just Rosa did not want to kill Usopp, King Riku, and the others because they just want to stop the game and they asked King Riku to save them. But, you know, like, when King Riku says, it's, it's about time we should wait a little bit, you know? And then Fujitora comes in and says, like, um, Dress Rosa is a symbol of peace, and he's making that same bet with Luffy that he's gonna win this thing, you know. And then, as the fight goes with um, Doflamingo and Law, of course, Trouble uh, ends up being in trouble, and of course, like um, Trouble can't reattach himself due to like um, Law's new ability called the Rido Knife that I never heard of. Well, it's not a bu an ability, but it's something that involves a different amputation. He mentions, and then Law uses injection, and then is about to. Hit he was about to use injection shot, you know? But Doflamingo blocks the attack, and Doflamingo counter hits Law with this full bright move, which was really multiple strings, like, coming down his body, and then Luffy tries to, tries to save Law, and Doflamingo arming himself off with hockey, and so did Luffy, but too bad for him, he gets overpowered, gets kicked in the face, and... His ha hands gets tied up and Bellamy slashes Luffy, which <clears throat> was pretty sad, you know, and so forth. And the one thing that Doflamingo really hated is that he's being looked down, is being is being looked down upon. And then to see to it that he says like you people rising up and so forth is a disgrace that I he cannot bear. And he says I am a ten rubido, and I go like, stop being you're not even a ten rubido anymore. So what makes you think anything? And by the time he says he acquires the rarest abilities in the world. And I go like, um, what kind of rare ability is that? Like, is it like um, your uh, string string fruit or hockey or I don't know what it is. But I'm not really sure about rarest of abilities, but so forth. And then he pretty much tells the past that his father abandoned everything to a garbage dump of the world. Pretty much he refers to the One Piece world. Well, compared to what our world, us garbage. Like, um, even to the family of four, and he was a stupid, foolish father saying that we should live like humans. And I, and I gotta say to Doflamingo's dad right there, it's not too, it's not bad that he actually wants to live around there, you know? I mean, it's not, it's not his, it's, it was actually, it could be a good experience, but you see here, Doflamingo never liked that. And his mother got sick and died of a filthy place that he thinks, you know? And by the time he said that he's seen heaven and hell when he's at the age of eight years old, and I'm thinking in my mind, yo, compared to a pirate like you, you can't even define what heaven and hell is. Just because like eight years old, you think it's all trash heap. Just because I don't know, I don't know. He has a different perspective, and I so do I. But later on, he killed his father for it. Took his head to Mary Jones, but he was called a family of traitors, and he's not welcome back. And that's when he swore to destroy every part of the world that the Ten Rubido, I think, is controlling. And he's at, and he's going like nothing, nothing, nothing is compared to what I've gone through while your iffy lies or something. And then he says he has no time to play with kids or something. 
Now, when he mentions something like compared to the life I had, it it that mine is way worse than yours. Yours, to be exact, if if that's what he's saying, he's saying like compared to the lives you've been, compared to your iffy lives, is nothing compared to mine or something. I'm thinking about mine right now, dude. Like, of course, many people will say that. Like, my life has been way worse than yours. I don't think you should be saying that because I'm pretty sure there are way there are other people that had it way worse than you. I'll be honest with you like that. But I really like this chapter, you know, the chapter of Dolph Flamingo and how what how he became what he is today and other things. So I just go like, hey, whatever, man. This guy has his crazy psycho fanatic, you know, and so forth. But I got to say it's a good chapter. You guys should read it or something. And honestly, like, um, this will be the end of my review. I'm going to go, like, um, go talk to a certain brother real quick. If you all know, if you all see me around his chat, if you, if you all know what I do sometimes, then you all know what I have to do. And pretty much, like, um, I usually comment on many of his videos anyway, and you know what I'm talking about. So if anything else, I'm out for zero people. This will be the end of my review, and I'll see you all in my next video tomorrow. Okay? Bye. Peace out. Later.